Hey friends, starting you off this week, Greg and Liz here with you. You know, one of the things lawmakers slipped into the budget right there in the final minutes of session was a massive cut to the state's Department of Health. It's one of several things drawing controversy and finger pointing among our elected officials. Here's our Capitol correspondent, Chris Rosado. Liz, Greg, it's $100 million to be exact. That's what LDH is going to have to do without this year. Now the question becomes, what will this impact? And more importantly, how can it affect each of you? It's not missed by anybody here that the budget bills came back to us at a very late hour. After a closed door meeting, state lawmakers slapped on a plethora of amendments to the state's budget. Many who were not included in those meetings said they were unaware they were voting on a large cut for the health department. Senate members wanted to invest more money in projects, while House members wanted to pay off more debt. They had uh, an intention to pay mo down more debt, and uh, so th the money had to be captured somewhere. When you look at paying down that debt and getting us ahead of where we have been in the past. That was part of it. House Speaker Clay Sheck Snyder says while the budget was being moved around and debated, he was never told the cuts would have an impact. I don't know if anybody told us anything was going to be impacted. Nobody's called us up and said anything. It didn't happen. There was no heads up. Period. However, Governor John Bell Edwards says at no point was the health department aware they could have their funds slashed and says officials were also never questioned during committee about the potential impacts. And what would that look like? What, what reductions in federal funding would result and how would that impact your delivery of services? And so it just didn't happen. And I think all the time, I think all the time that whenever we're up here and we're looking at it, we get as much information from the departments as we can. What we have to work on is what they tell us. Both the House Speaker and the Senate President say LDH came to members of both chambers asking for a different amount of money and says the total they agreed on in their meeting was somewhere in the middle. There is a different ask, but I think what we did is took the combination between both and we were able to settle where we were. Senate President Paige Cortez says regardless of the confusion, any problems that surface due to the cuts can be resolved throughout the year. We can work through a lot of this. We have opportunities at joint budget uh, throughout the rest of the year. Uh, we're not going to let the people of say Louisiana and the health care arena uh, suffer. That's not the intention of this. Now, the Department of Health says in part they're aware of the budget cuts and are evaluating the impact of the services that the department provides. Also adding the department's priority is to continue services to the most vulnerable residents uninterrupted. Guys. All right, Chris, thank you. So another apparent